Hey YouTube, Ron Prepper here, just sort of giving a general update on my doings during this uh, pandemic, or what you would call uh, SHTF light. It's important really to uh, keep in shape as much as you can, and one of the ways I do it is I have a weight vest on, <clears throat> 20 pounds, and I walk roughly about two and a half miles a day down this uh, dirt road. So if I go all the way down this dirt road to the end, and then I come back up, and it's, you know, it's got a nice grade to it on the way back. It's a nice workout. It's about two and a half miles. And then if you take that, plus uh, drumming, my uh, watch actually uh, records steps when I drum so I've been averaging probably about 12,000 steps a day if you count walking and the drums so it's really a good workout uh, I'm down 11 pounds from uh, peak weight let's call it the COVID the COVID gut uh, no more gut so pretty pleased about how I feel as well uh, more energy, better metabolism. But really, when you think about it, uh, it's extremely important. Uh, it's your, your best asset is, is yourself during something like this where, you know, let's say it gets further turned south where you have to rely on, uh, you know, as they say in what, uh, zombie land cardio. You want to have <clears throat> some good stamina. If nothing else, you know, you have to be doing a lot more manual labor. If, uh, let's say, grid goes down or or something else, you know, EMP during our vulnerable time right now. Uh, you never know with Russia or China what they're going to do. So, you got to keep on your toes. And the best way to do that, even if you don't have any preps, is to try and maintain your health. I know there's been a lot of uh, talk about, you know, wearing masks versus not wearing masks. Uh, you know, I really don't care if people don't wear them, but I wear one myself. And I've been fortunate enough to have some of the medical masks. Actually, I gave a bunch away to my brother who uh, is in the medical field and he has to go to hospital so I gave just about all of them to him I got maybe one or two left but really they last a while I mean I reuse them and you know people say that you can't reuse them that's a bunch of BS you can reuse them and once they you know go out and get reused to the point where I can't use them anymore then I'll start with regular you know surgical mask or whatever but in Vermont here if you follow the uh, John Hopkins uh, coronavirus chart Vermont has the lowest uh, amount of COVID per uh, in the 48 states I get no 50 states I believe so we're the lowest we're about about 1400 total cases and last I saw it was 56 deaths. Maybe there's more. I don't know. But we haven't had a death in a while last time I looked. So, and one of the reasons, well, there's a couple reasons actually, is uh, we're spread out more. If you, if you look here, we see very few people. I mean, I'll turn around here and, you know, we have a house there, but it's kind of off the road. And this is all woods right here. Um... You know, so there's not many people per capita here, so that it sort of makes sense. It's not like we're doing things better than everybody else, although I will say that people have taken to the to the masks here. Uh, so, you know, I think it's a good thing. I, I know there's people that, you know, are protesting against masks and don't want to wear masks, and that's cool, whatever you want to do. But I figure while I can, I'll wear them. Uh, when I go in the store, I wear them. I even bought um, what you would call swim goggles because the virus can enter through the eyes. And I wear glasses, so I, 
I look like some alien. I put glasses over the uh, swim goggles so I could see better. Uh, I can't see close up without glasses, so I got to put them on. But, um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things you got to do, I think. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm a conservative here in a very liberal state. So you would think that, you know, a lot of conservatives are really kind of against the masks. But I was actually wearing masks way before everybody else was uh, in a grocery store. So I have a little bit of background in biology. So I kind of know how viruses work. And I just took precautions, that's all. And to each his own, do what you have to do. So, in any event, uh, you know, I get to see some nice scenery as I walk down. This is a killer house up here. Uh, they own all these property here. But I also saw um, down the road at the end, there was a, uh, a live band playing the other day. So I stopped and watched them for a little bit outside. Uh, some people were having a party. But by and large, you know, things are fairly normal here. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of the governor, but I think he did a good job in weighing the restrictions versus, uh, you know, freedom. And I know everybody likes their freedom, but you got to think about uh, passing that virus on because whether you like it or not, you're seeing the protests that... They're passing on the viruses, the virus. Um, it's it's just a, a fact, you know, there's people that are close in together and that's the way to spread it. You know, not to mention, you know, all of the people on the beaches and in the bars, etc. Uh, we don't have any beaches here, so uh, we do have bars, but they're, again, spread out. Uh, there's mostly outside dining and the bars here are mostly pick up uh, for food, food-wise. They even, they actually could even pick up some drinks, too. So, in Vermont, I think we're doing okay. Uh, you know, I've been down to Florida several times. I actually came back right before the big, the big outbreak there. Uh, or kind of the second wave of the first wave, right? So it was kind of a, a big outbreak there after I came back. I kind of lucked out. And I flew. You know, I just fly. All right, so uh, that's my update. I'm sticking to it. Work from home. And uh, everybody stay safe out there. Vermont Prepper out. And as always, keep prepping.